Hello, here is Quios, the featherless uh, bird like uh, snake something. And we are still flying um, my armor uh, Tempest fleet issue with uh, the 200 uh, artillery cannons. with a rate of fire or 7.10 seconds and we are doing a vengeance mission for that we brought a ECM uh, script because uh, uh, this mission uh, uh, tends to be uh, rather annoying for uh, the amount of jamming uh, that uh, you can uh, receive so it's very useful to have uh, with you a sensor booster with uh, uh, ECM script loaded and some small T1 drones of course uh, for uh, the small annoyances of the frigates Damage here is uh, thermal and kinetic. For the most part, should be a little bit more uh, on the kinetic side of uh, damage we'll see in, uh, in one second as uh, we'll hit armor and our reactive uh, armor will kick in so we can recall our hornets back and deploy our elite drones uh, our, uh, there are just two more uh, destroyers in the field that can be a uh, annoyance for our drones but we'll get rid of them in just a couple of seconds and we've been jammed we've been jammed by a battleship so as I said uh, this mission is pretty intensive on the amount of jamming that you can receive and even with the 
one sensor booster is very easy to get jammed but usually here the jamming comes just from uh, this puzzle ship or two battleship uh, at most so the damage is almost equal between kinetic and thermal We have a seventy nine percent on kinetic. This means that it's slightly higher uh, kinetic damage rather than thermal damage. And as you should know, it's the best damage to deal against Guristas is of course kinetic. In order to fit our uh, 1200, uh, we had to fit uh, um, diagnostic power system, and this give us complete uh, cap stable. We don't have the. 1600 plate here because uh, it's really not very high damage is really more important uh, the amount uh, the DPS that you can bring on the field the, the, the more DPS the the faster you can clean the field in fact uh, I could have used four gyros and go very light on the tank just using the reactive armor hardener and that's it it's just because this is my usual fit that I use so I tend to run uh, the majority of my missions uh, uh, with the 1200 I'm trying with this uh, fit uh, not with two enemy specific hardeners so I'm always on the safe side and very good 
Dang, I never ever have to fly away from uh, any site that I run. There's no one single level 4 that can breach my tank in any occasion. on this particular ship which is a fleet issue by the way and if not for the Siege module of the Marauder, this ship has the same uh, DPS of the Vargur, but it has more tank. Anyway, I don't know if many of you know that you can armor fit your Vargur. and it won't have uh, the whole bonus on the armor repairer that you get on the shield booster on the Vargor but when you use the siege module you have uh, a boost on your armor repairer as well so this fit used here for this uh, tempest here transposed on the vargur it can reach with the same uh, armor repairer abyssal armor repairer which is almost 1000 hp per 10 seconds or 93 hp per seconds uh, on the vargur can reach 150 hp per second this means that basically you can go just with uh, an armor repairer and some uh, uh, reactive armor hardener and maybe a one or two modules uh, but you have uh, um, you can have a greater tank on the Vargor actually than the Tempest fleet issue because of the bonus you get from uh, the siege module which is not a siege module uh, it's called uh, the the bastion module so the bastion module 
it is 100% shield boost but also 100% armor boost so you can now fit your mid slots in the Vargor, you could fit your mid slots in the Vargor exactly as my Tempest split issue with free computers you basically don't need uh, the sensor booster because it's integrated in the Bastion module and you can have permanently uh, an afterburner and because it has more mid slots because it has more mid slots it can fit three computers one large cap battery one micro warp drive or m micro jump drive and uh, a heavy web and then you can go armor tank with the, the armor repairer the active armor hardener and uh, maybe two you can use uh, two hardware specific but you also have better resistances on the Vargur to N1 gyro stabilizer and you can get with the Bastion module around uh, 2000 DPS so it's not like uh, you could make the Vargur uh, obviously um, shield tank as its natural uh, bonus is on shields But if you go armor, you have far greater uh, range. That you have anyway with uh, 1200, but you could go with 800 on the Vargul because now you have uh, the you can constantly use your microwave drive and have more mobility and if you go with the 1200 you have uh, 5 seconds on the 1200 and it's really a monster because with the 1200s here with titanium sabo we get 68 kilometers uh, optimal range
and the ship uh, has no bonus on Fallout while the Vargur has 50% bonus on Fallout 50% bonus on Fallout 37% bonus on tracking speeds So we we got that fall off bonus uh, naturally without uh, the use of the the computers on the on the Vargo. But we have 1200 on the Vargo. You can have 800s. with an incredible range and if you add to that range free computers you get almost the range of the 1200s on the 800 and that's insane that's insane that means you can get 3000 dps on the Vargo if you go with just free gyro stabilizer in the low so you have six lows and you can use free for the armor repairer and the other free for the gyro stabilizer and still have 3000 dps you won't have uh, a lot of buffer on your uh, on your tank your tank now will be significantly uh, smaller than the Tempest Fleet issue tank because the base uh, armor for the Vargur is uh, seven seven thousand and on the Tempest split issue or even the T1 Tempest uh, the armor is uh, 7700 so you have more armor on the T1 than the Vargur even if you have better resistances you have more armor and on the Tempest split issue you have 4,000 more armor hit points so you have significantly more armor on the Tempest Fleet issue and you can go easily above 1,000 EHP easily above 1,000 EHP But of course, uh, you can get only half of the DPS you can get with the with the Vargo. It's around uh, you can get almost well 1,600 with three gyros on the Tempest Split issue with 800 against three thousand on the on the Vargo so that means basically you can clean uh, 
uh, side double as fast and it's absolutely already a super fast ship to clean sides so the Vargur will just cut those times in, in, in half you still need the same time uh, you will still lose time when you want to loot your stuff and you want we basically don't want to use a mobile tractor unit in, in a Vargur because that makes you um, more uh, prone to be scanned down and you would like to to avoid that and you being scanned down if possible but you will also lose quite a good amount of uh, isks this way because let it be clear half of the isks from every mission every level for mission comes from the loot so you save uh, your uh, your rex position you you get your loot that is inside the Rex and then you usually come back uh, with uh, uh, a Noctis if you have a Noctis or uh, any other ship uh, uh, that can uh, salvage the Rex and that's it so this was uh, Russian uh, Misna uh, Vengeance mission done with uh, a Tempest split issue and was very very fast we just had a uh, one uh, pause because we were jammed but other than that uh, the 1200s uh, uh, works really really good so do your do your things do your calculation uh, i love my ship uh, is uh, very very effective uh, in every kind of uh, situation hope you enjoy uh, fly safe remember to subscribe uh, and comment uh, if you have uh, any consideration uh, if you would like to see a particular mission or uh, anything uh, let me know what you think uh, uh, what you think about the marauders i think uh, they are too expensive uh, now for uh, i i had uh, before a couple of marauders uh, and they're just for me they're just too expensive uh, I, I feel really good with my tempest split issue that i i don't need a, a but i don't know it's anyway it's a nice it's a nice ship but it's too much expense let me know what you think cheers